right, so I have um, another devotional forgiveness reading plan. Devotional, this is a seven day devotional. So this is the first of seven days. This is for Saturday, December 28th, 2019. How forgiveness frees us. The last time they had seen each other, Esau was plotting to murder his brother Jacob, back in Genesis. <clears throat> As the years passed, Esau learned to embrace forgiveness. Once he had forgiven his brother, he no longer demanded repayment or restitution. Esau had made the choice to set Jacob free from any remaining debt. Nothing promotes reconciliation more than forgiveness. To forgive someone means to let, them, let him or her off the hook, to cancel a debt owed. When we refuse to forgive someone, we still want something from that person, even if it's revenge that we want. It keeps us tie, tied to that person forever. Refusing to forgive a family member is one of the many reasons people are stuck for years, unable to separate from their dysfunctional families. They still want something from their family. It's much better to receive grace from God who has something to give, to forgive those who have nothing with which to repay their debt. This ends the suffering because it ends the wish for repayment that is never forthcoming, which makes the heart sick because the hope is deferred. We do not forgive, we are demanding something our offender does not choose to give, even if it's only a confession. This ties the person to us. We come from a toxic family situation. We've been waiting for something before we can forgive. We need to let go. If we cut loose the ties, we will be free. Be free in forgiveness. The reading comes from Genesis 33, 4 through 11. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him, he fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. He lifted up his eyes and saw the women and children and said, Who are these with you? He said, The children whom God has graciously given your servant. The maid servants came near, they and their children, and bowed down. Leah also came near with her children, and they bowed down. Afterward, Joseph and Rachel came near. They bowed down. Esau said, What do you mean by all this company which I met? And he said, These are to find favor in the sight of my Lord. But Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. Jacob said, No, please. If I have found favor in your sight, and receive my present from my hand, inasmuch as I have seen your face, as though I had seen the face of God. You are pleased with me. Please take my blessing that is brought for you, because God has dealt graciously with me, because I have, ha I have enough. So he urged him, and he took it. to like the uh, saying that holding a grudge, not willing to, not being willing to forgive, is like drinking poison, expecting the other person to die. Um, okay, sent me from Trump. So, as always, I'd like to get your comments or prayer requests. Have a great day. Take care. God bless.